As America has become sort of increasingly post-Christian, have you had any recent negative experiences when you've proclaimed basic truths yeah, of the faith? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if I say the city, because people watching are going to know where, where this is. But um, I was in a city recently where I gave, a, I preset mass, um, and then I gave a talk to middle school students. And I said basic things like marriage is a man and a woman, uh, that males are actually males. males and females are actually females, that a child in the womb is a person, it's not a blob of tissue, that um, our, our brothers and sisters who are same-sex attracted, we love them with the love of, of Christ, you know, absolutely, unconditionally, um, but we love everyone, but we always don't love their actions, we judge actions, we never judge people, mm. things like that. Mm. And the kids at the end were like, when are you coming back? And and, but some of the parents and the teachers that were there, I got some of the the most hateful emails I think I've ever received in speaking. This is at a and Catholic school. This is at a Catholic school. What sort of things did they say? Don't ever go near my kids again. Um, bigoted, closed-minded, homophobic. Um, they couldn't call you a racist. That must have been nice. Yeah, yeah. They or did they? Me, no, no they, <laughs> didn't call me, they didn't call me a racist. Um, it was just uh, belittling. At, at homing them attacks instead of instead of yeah. uh, attacking my arguments they attack me personally, you know. Um, it's just you know it's just eh, I mean I, you know in a sense you could that could be disheartening right. Mm -hmm. um, but it was okay. How know? did the um, head of the school or the leaders of the school respond? Presumably, no, nothing. They, I didn't hear anything from them. I still haven't heard anything. Were, were from they them. happy that you said basic truths, or do you think they were? Well, I think they were polite and thanking me for being there, but I think. Mm. They were like, uh oh, we didn't what expect were they this. You know, because uh and I found out later that Jason Everett was also there and also did not get a nice so we should have told me this before. <laughs> I would have called Jason, Jace, what's up, man? What, where, where, am I stepping into a lion's den here? And that's like, he he got he was warned not to say this and not to say this and not, he was like, Wait, what? You know So um, did he say it anyway? He did, but I think he nuanced it in yeah, a way. Still sure. pissed some people off, but I yeah. think he nuanced it in a way that you know, um, that was more appealing. I mean, if I would have known that ahead of time, you I still would have spoke the truth in love. But you would have massaged it a little. I would have massaged it a little bit a little bit better. Not not to deny the truth, not to mm. speak the truth in love. And that's what I thought I did. But I did it in a passionate way, in my, my style. And they thought I was angry. They thought I was attacking. I'm like, no, what? The kids understood what I was saying. The yeah, kids got the it. Kids were smart enough. Yeah, and 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 um, they weren't the ones that pushed back. It was the parents and the and some of the teachers there. Because I noticed during mass, a lot of teachers didn't receive communion. I said, oh, they must not be Catholic or state of mortal sin or something. But mm -hmm. I, I learned later that um, that the vast majority of the teachers are not Catholic at that school, oh. um, and so there was a lot of pushback on what I had to say because they're not really teaching the Catholic faith. So, so a lot of kids are hearing these things really for the first time. And, and, and it was for the, I guess for the parents and some of the teachers, it was very jarring for them to hear the truth presented in such a bold, powerful, unapologetic way with mm. passion and conviction, you know, and they, and they took that as attacking and belittling and which is, which of course is not. Mm. Uh, and, and, and most of the people get it. And if I've been criticized, but people don't like my style. I'm like, well, then go see someone else. <laughs> no, don't, don't, I, I'm not going to change because you don't like my style. It's I'm I'm being honest to who I am. I love being Catholic. I am passionate about being Catholic. I'm not afraid to sh to share that and, and to show that. No, I think that's great. When you start editing your personality to make yourself acceptable to all comers, you end up as interesting as dentist art. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you're not offensive. You're also not interesting, and you've said nothing helpful. So I think that's really great that you're like, no, this is this is my yeah. This, this is, is how just, I, I just have to be. I have to be the person who God called me to be. Was there a stage in the beginning of your ministry where you felt tempted to maybe change your style? I think the first time I got criticized, <clears throat> it was like, oh, maybe I should change my style. Maybe, and I and I prayed about. I spent a lot of time in adoration. I prayed about it, like no, you know, because what's what's happening is this that I realized. Even I have people walk out on homilies, you know, and, and what happens is. <clears throat> I'm preaching the beauty of the truth. And there are people that are listening to what I'm saying that are rooted in their sin. They're very comfortable in their sin. 
And so the conscience always wants to turn back toward the true, the good, and the beautiful. Mm. Uh, towards, uh, the sonum bonum, as Aquinas calls it, right? The, their ultimate end. And so when, the, when you prick that conscience and the conscience wants to turn back toward the truth, they fight that conscience. And because you're the one that caused that tension, they blame you. It's your fault. You made me feel like this is you're you're saying these things. That's right. And and they attack me without even thinking about what I'm saying. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.